loan repayment. Our objective, we want to use the loan amortization formula, which is right down here, to calculate equal payment amounts for loan repayment, to calculate the total amount paid for the loan, and to calculate the total amount of interest paid for the loan. Uh, so we're going to use the formula to come up with the equal payments, uh, the, and then we'll calculate also how much we paid for the loan and how much of interest we paid for the loan. Okay, just as a brief reminder, borrowed money is repaid in full, of course. You borrow $10, you're going to repay somebody $10. If you borrow from an institution that charges a fee for borrowing called interest, then borrowed money is paid in full plus the interest. So if I borrow $100 from the bank uh, and I agree to pay them back, let's say in one month, I'm going to pay them back my $100 because that was the amount I borrowed, plus I'm going to pay them back a little bit of interest, which is the fee for borrowing. In general, when you repay, you do that by paying a fixed amount equal payments on a regular basis, and it's often monthly. So you borrow money for a car or a home, you will have equal payments every month until you pay it back. Each payment that you're making includes money to pay off the loan and money to pay the interest. And this method in which you're paying off some of the loan and some of the interest in each payment is called amortization. You've amortized the loan. You've got, you've got the, the amount you borrowed, you've got the interest you're gonna pay, and those two things go into each payment, and that's called amortization. And you pay these equal payments, which include parts of both, loan amount and fee, until you're all done. Okay, the amortization formula, okay, is this one here. I have a debt of A dollars. I have an interest rate of I per period. We've seen this I per period before. And we're going to amortize it with N equal periodic payments made at the end of each period. And again, this is almost always months almost always months we're doing this. Then we can calculate the size of each payment using this formula. The size is R. Okay, so my debt, I borrowed $100,000, I borrowed $20,000, bar, excuse me, I borrowed $20,000 for a car. I've got to calculate my interest rate per period, which is usually going to be per month. And then how many payments am I going to make? Okay, equal size payments, and this will tell me how much I need to pay every single month. Okay, so let's take a look at an example, and that'll help make sense of this for us. We're going to talk about buying a home here. A couple wants to purchase a home. The price of the home is $230,000, and they're going to pay $50,000 down payment. The bank often requires you to put some skin in the game, they say. So they're going to pay $50,000, and they're going to borrow the remainder. So they had this much with them. They didn't have the entire $230,000. They had $50,000. So they'll pay $50,000 as a down payment, and they will borrow the remainder. They've got a 25-year mortgage at 9% per year. And we want to know, what, it, what are their equal monthly payments? We're going to round that up to the nearest penny. What is the total amount they will wind up paying for the home when all is done, when they've made their final payment 25 years later? And of this total amount, how much will they have paid in interest? I think you're going to be very surprised by that. So, what are their equal monthly payments? That's going to use the amortization formula right there. So, letter A. Okay, so the A is the amount they borrow. So the A is going to be the debt, the borrowed amount. Or the debt, how much they owe, which is equal to 
230,000 minus 50,000, which is equal to $180,000. That's how much they're gonna borrow. This is how much we're gonna need to pay back. So this is how much we're gonna amortize. Okay, our I is the interest rate per period. Well, it's 9% divided by 12 periods per year. It's a 9% annual rate. But we have 12 periods. So we're doing the interest rate divided by 12, and we're gonna come up with a 0 0.0075 number per month, which is 0.75% per month. 0.75% per month. And if we multiply 0.75 times 12, we'll get 9%. So we took that 9% and we cut it into 12 parts and each part is 0.75% as a decimal, that's 0 0.0075. Okay, N, N, how many equal payments? Well, we've got 25 years worth of payments and we're doing 12 payments per year. So we're talking about 300 payments, 300 months. This is gonna take place over. Okay, they're making 300 payments, one per month for 25 years, 300 payments. Okay, now let's apply our formula right here. We've got all the information we need here. So R is equal to uh, the 180,000 is the amount of that was borrowed, the amount of debt. And we've got this uh, smorgasbord of uh, numbers and letters. Let's see, the top is I, which is 0 0.0075. So 0 0.0075, that's the interest per period. And then we have a one minus, one plus the interest rate per period, 0 0.0075, all that raised to the negative. Don't forget that negative, there's a negative right there. The number of periods is 300. So I'll extend my fraction line, I'll close my parenthesis. This is simply a calculation, so I'll pop it into a calculator and we're rounding up to the nearest penny. So it comes out to $1,510.56. And that is their monthly payment. So for those who have uh, borrowed money for a home, here's the math behind how, how your monthly payment was calculated. Uh, for those who are going to borrow money for a home or for a car, this is how they will calculate how much your monthly payment's going to be. So this couple, uh, they're gonna borrow $180,000 over 25 years, and which means they will be paying $1,510.56 every month for 300 payments or 300 months. Okay, letter B. What is the total amount they will pay for the home? I'm gonna go to the back side. And, okay, letter B. Okay, total amount. Okay, paid for a home, paid for the home. Well, that's gonna, that equals the down payment they paid, they paid $50,000 up front, plus the total of the 300 payments. Okay, well, they put $50,000 down and they made 300 payments. They were each $1,000. $510.56. So how much do they pay for the home? If I do the math to this, they paid 
$68. That's the total amount they paid for the home. $50 was what they had in their pocket when they bought the house and they put that toward the, uh, pro the payment. They borrowed $180,000 over, but they had, to, they had to pay it back plus the fee over 25 years. And every month they were paying $1,510.56. And so the total amount they paid for the home would be $503 and $503,168. Wow, huh? It was only a $250,000 $250, home. And they're paying a little more than double a little more than double, excuse me, it was a $230,000 home, excuse me. And so they're paying more than double uh, the price of the home because of the fee for borrowing. But that's how it works over a long period of time. Letter C, how much did they pay in interest? Well, interest paid is the total they paid. Minus the price of the house. If they had bought it in cash, they would have paid no interest, but they borrowed money. Well, the total they paid is right here, $503,168. The price of the house, well, the house was $230,000. So if they had paid, if they had the money to pay it all, all the beginning, they would have paid $230,000 and they would have owned the house on day one. They didn't have $230,000, most of us don't. They had $50,000 and they had to borrow the other 180,000 and they paid that back over 25 years. And so this was the total that the house cost them with the, with the borrowing fee. It would have cost them this had they had the cash and not had to borrow. We subtract these two numbers and the interest they paid was $273,168, the amount of interest paid. And that's how it works. You, If you're borrowing money for a long period of time, you do wind up paying a significant amount of interest, but you at least were able to own the home and you were able to pay it back in installments thanks to amortization. So there you have it, working with determining the uh, loan payment amount.